What's going on there guys? Good Saturday morning. It is the weekend out here, April 30th, 2022. It's about noon out here along the west coast. This is the Earthmaster. We're going to do an update video here on this beautiful day today. Latest quake shows a 1.6 earthquake here on this side of the globe. Uh, got some space weather to chat about here right off the bat though. Had a, an X flare kickoff overnight. Seeing that right there on the solar flare detection chart uh, detection chart right there right up into the x level category uh, i believe that was a x let's see what they reported this x 1.1 now this was not earth directed and it was not from any of the sunspots that are facing earth it was actually from uh, uh, the former sunspots which were facing earth for quite a while but uh, have now rounded the bin here away from us uh, that is the culprit out here on the far side of the sun so any cme that it may have produced uh, will not be geo effective here on earth it did provide a little uh, radio blackout there at the high frequency ranges uh, due to the flaring uh, that e even if it's on the far side it will affect earth uh, so these folks here reporting uh, solar activity sure has increased over the past 24 hours in addition to multiple m flares which we see up here on this chart Seeing that stepping ladder, so to speak. A couple M flares kicking up, and then finally the X flare. Uh, a parting X 1.1 solar flare was just observed off the west limb. Again, because these blasts are taking place around spotted regions no longer facing Earth, they will be directed away from our planet. Only a brief radio blackout across the HF spectrum are to be expected while a flare is in progress. So. There it is as it took place, the X1.1 earlier today, and that was the global delayer absorption map showing the radio blackouts there <clears throat> within that region. So a little bit of uh, uh, solar weather activity, but uh, like I say, again, it seems like these sunspots want to act up and uh, create some flaring when they're away from the Earth's side. I sure hope it's not like that the entire solar maximum. So we'll see what it does in the coming days. We've got a couple more sunspots that are facing Earth, but they are not dynamic whatsoever in in uh, in the aspect of producing any type of flaring. Uh, in fact, I believe for us, uh, Earth side, 75% chance of C flare, M flare, 25%, and X flare down to one. So not a whole lot of potential from any of these sunspots, which are currently facing Earth right here. Earthquake activity has been kind of ramping up a little bit, including out here along the west coast, following this flaring activity, uh, specifically over here around the geyser area south of Clear Lake, uh, where within the last hour we've got a, a pretty good swarm kicking off here. See all those earthquakes there in the red circle indicating the last um, hour of activity, including a 3.5 earthquake that struck within that swarm. Now this area right here, uh, took a trip down there a few months back to investigate, uh, well, the activity that occurs down there. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, this area does produce um, energy, electricity, from uh, their process. It's cowpine. They uh, use some raw sewage to inject down into the, uh, the heated surface below uh, to create uh, some dry steam. And creates those uh, creates a uh, uh, energy, but it also creates earthquakes. So there's a uh, wealth of information on this area. I'm still hoping to get down there pretty soon. I may look into that uh, poss possibly within the coming week. So either way, pretty good swarm of activity today. I would say in that area of the Cobb Mountain, Northern California. So a little bit of activity up north here. One, 2.5 outside of Covalo. This one's pretty deep though, 45 kilometers. Whoo, it's kind of down in there, right? Where the Cascadia subduction zone is, the southern end. You gotta remember the Cascadia here kind of dips underneath the North American plate here, just right about in this level right here. Kind of extends down. Uh, I'd say the cutoff point is right around the Red Bluff Corning area. So deeper movement there at the, uh, uh, the levels where the uh, subduction is taking place along the Cascadia up here in Northern California or Northeast California, a 2.5 in the Cedarville area. 
Uh, Washington and Oregon, again, uh, look pretty quiet, folks. I just don't know what they're doing. I think they're turning off their earthquake reporting uh, system <clears throat> periodically because I find it hard to believe that there's not even a one quake. No query blasts? You're telling me people aren't working this weekend? So, not for sure what's going on up there, but it is what it is. Throughout the uh, Montana and Idaho region, a couple spotty earthquakes up there. No major swarming going on. Uh, a latest look here at Yellowstone National Park shows, uh, well, obviously some earthquake activity, right? Looks like a few hours ago uh, had a, uh, that's got to be up there around a 2.5. Looking at the reading, that is the defined earthquake there on the map showing up across uh, the majority of the stations out here at Yellowstone National Park. USGS not uh, definitely not showing it. It's none of these. I guarantee you it's not this earthquake here uh, 0.3 This one was here. Uh, this one here is from 2243 UTC time 2243 UTC uh, UTC time was uh, One of these I'm guessing so they haven't quite got to this earthquake that kicked up here uh, a few hours ago overnight it looks like since then, we've seen a little bit more swarming kicking up here, but that's definitely a, that's a 2.5, I'm guessing. We'll see what they uh, uh, regis register it at uh, once they review the data. But uh, when it shows up like that across the parks, we kind of uh, know that it's definitely more than just a, a tiny microquake. Uh, let's see what else we got here throughout the area. Not a whole lot going on through the uh, Colorado, New Mexico area. And even in Kansas, man, holy smokes. I don't know if you guys seen some of that uh, tornado video from uh, the uh, Andover area yesterday in Kansas. But man, that is some extensive uh, crazy weather they had yesterday. A lot of tornadoes and uh, in, in some populated regions, unfortunately, as well. I don't mind viewing tornadoes. I think they're absolutely stunning and awesome. But uh, when it's in a populated region like that, it's it's un it's unspeakable. It's it's pretty scary for those folks. So I guess they have another uh, potential setup today. I think a little bit further east within this region, and some more severe weather potential later, um, early next week as well. So as far as earthquake activity, we're not seeing a whole lot. We got that 2.8 from the uh, Missouri area that kicked up uh, last night. No further subsequent activity within that region, although over here around the Tennessee area uh, earlier uh, this morning we've seen a 2.4, 17 kilometers for that depth there just outside of the Great Smoky Mountains. So we've noticed a little swarm of, or not swarm, but a noticeable increase in activity uh, specifically in certain areas such as the New Madrid Zone, Oklahoma and Western Texas obviously have to do with the, uh, uh, the oil operations and injection wells but we've definitely seen quite a bit of pressure over here along the new madrid zone and also over here around the great smoky mountains along the uh, appalachian mountain ranges so just kind of watching that area pretty closely there for uh, uh for some movement here around the puerto rico area southwest edge of puerto rico still pretty active and we even got some movement here uh to the west 74 kilometer depth for a 3.8 in the Dominican Republic area and also a 4.0 this one's deeper 179 kilometers so a lot of deep movement taking place here in this trough zone uh, which is also up here uh, we've got a, another trench got to watch these areas pretty closely there are a lot of dynamics for some large earthquake potential and it's been a while since we've seen any major activity up there on the Puerto Rico trench South America a little bit of activity up here in the Colombia region that was from last night and uh, looks like we've seen a little bit of renewed activity along the Peru Chile Trench uh, including a pretty deep 4.3 well inland into the uh, Argentina area way down there 222 kilometers into the Peru Chile Trench and some further activity down into the Chile region seen an earthquake come into the South Sandwich Islands last night this one's fairly deep as well into the trench 5.0 at 50.5 kilometers uh, Southeast Indian Ridge, a little bit of activity, definitely noticeable activity over the last week or so. Uh, looking at, uh, well, a couple earthquakes down here. South 
West Indian Ridge uh, had a four pointer, 4.9, and also over here a uh, looks like another 4.9. So a little bit, little bit of noticeable increase here at the southern end of the uh, <coughs> planet and around the Antarctica plate area. beautiful day for coffee it's supposed to be 85 degrees today here in California but I'll drink coffee any time of the day any time of the night Fiji Samoa couple fours and some fives still no major movement here along the Tonga Trench or the Kermadec Trench watching this area up around the Vanuatu area um, not a whole lot going on through here either we got some movement up around the Indonesia Islands area seen uh, quite a few fours most of it somewhat somewhat uh, shallow. Looks like the deepest one is going to be a 4.9 at 55.5 uh, kilometers here. Notice a lack of activity once again here, nor uh, Japan northward. Alaska region still seeing some activity. Most of this here, well, um, the majority of these <coughs> quakes right here was from last night. I think the last one we've seen was a 3.7, 115 kilometers into the Aleutian Trench. Major subduction zone right here. The big island of Hawaii. Got uh, only 12 to report today. Not a whole lot. That's one spot that has been kind of on the uh, on the back burner, so to speak. It's been relatively quiet. In fact, the last earthquake, a 2.5. And those numbers, once again, 33.3 kilometers for that depth. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, a trimmer map from last night showed some activity kicking up here into the southern Oregon region. Again, that's the Cascadia subduction zone. Trimmer uh, activity, which occurs down there between probably 30 to 40 kilometer depth in that region, 45 possibly as well, 45 kilometers. Uh, volcanic map here, we'll check out Mount St. Helens since it seems to be a little topic right now. Uh, with seismic activity but lack of it being reported to the general public on the uh, agency's websites so therefore we go to the public accessible seismographs that have been recorded so we got this uh, seismograph squashed a little bit uh, but I can assure you that there's still some earthquake activity occurring with these little spikes here's another one uh, over the last few hours uh, last night looks like some further activity as well and of course throughout the day yesterday we've seen some uh, some little small microquakes so it's definitely been a noticeable increase in activity there at Mount St. Helens but uh, again no major movement to report um, in that area just you know typical swarm it looks like for now uh, let's see what else we got um, I'm going to check out the solar activity once again. Looks like there is a possible well, KP index elevated here over the coming nights, but nothing major um, forecasted. But man, that's a beautiful sight. I love it. I love to see the flares kick up like that. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here and uh, we'll, be we'll be back tonight. Coffee's starting to kick in a little bit. <laughs> We'll be back a little bit later tonight and uh, see how the day goes with activity. Like I say, a lot of times when we see these solar flaring uh, kick up there on the sun, we do tend to notice a, uh, a, uh, an increase in earthquake activity uh, globally. But um, like I say, about the only major one, major swarm that I'm noting is that activity in the Cobb Mountain area. In the Clear Lake uh, region, has definitely been kicking up there over the last hour or so in Northern California. But uh, this flare wasn't specifically Earth directed. I think uh, we see more a noticeable impact on plate tectonics when it's squarely Earth directed and up there in the X flare range. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it and we'll report as needed out here throughout the day today. So hope you enjoy your Saturday. We'll chat you guys later tonight. Peace out.